What's up guys? I wanted to show you what I bought today. It's the BioLite portable grill. I've been waiting for this thing to come out, so I'm excited. It's an accessory for the BioLite camp stove. I did a couple of videos on this. I'll put the links below so you can uh, check it out if you want. But today, I just wanted to do a video on the stove and unbox it for you, show you what it's like, uh, and give you my first impressions. So it comes in this cardboard packaging, all recyclable. It's got some uh, specs on the back. It's got 55 square inches of cooking area. Folded, it's nine and a half inches by 12 inches by three and a quarter inches. Unfolded, it's nine and a half by 12 inches by 10 and a half inches and weighs 2.64 pounds. That's 1.2 kilograms. So no, it's not for the ultra lightweight backpackers and the gram weenies. It's a little bit heavier, but for convenience camping, it's, uh, it's going to be really cool. So let's open it up and see what we got here. be honest, I wish this was orange. To kind of go along with the motif of the stove. Um, that's alright. It's kind of, I don't know if you'll be able to tell the color real well in this video. It's kind of a bluish green color. Um, the cover I'm talking about here. But this is nice surprise because the, the website said it came with the cover but didn't show any pictures or give any clue what that would be like. I was wondering how how they'd uh, package it up so you can put it in your bag when you're done and not get a bunch of grease and black soot all over your camping gear. So this is how they do it. They put this cover on it including this cover down here for the part that inserts into the stove. And something I noticed I didn't see it in their directions anywhere but I guess this cover could be used as your dinner plate if you want. Take off the cover. This pops right off. This is the grill. Of course it's all bright and shiny now. It's not going to ever look like this again once I use it I'm sure. But the legs fold out and then they lock into place. To disengage them you got to squeeze there. Just like that. And the way it works, of course you see it just has two legs. This uses the BioLite stove as the third leg. So just like that. And it's actually very, very stable once it's on the stove. You got a port here for fuel. So while your fire's going, you can lift this up. Of course it's going to be hot, so you'll want to use a stick or your tongs or something. Lift that up, you can put more fuel in there. Close it up. And we've got the grilling surface here. So the big question I had before I bought this is how how hard is it going to be to clean after you're done using it? So I want to show you how how they designed this. This grilling plate removes and so once you get home you can soak that into some soap and water and scrub it clean. A lot of the fat and drippings and all that good stuff is going to fall onto this layer. This comes out also. And so that comes out so you can soak that in some water. And then of course you're left with this piece here. Now I'm a little concerned, you know, a lot of the dripping is going to get through the holes of this layer. If you have really fatty hamburgers or something, I'm just picturing the grease coming here and going down into your stove, which is a little more difficult to clean. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'll do a test and put up a video of that um, pretty soon. But so that's one worry that I have and maybe you can get around that by putting some tin foil in here or something I'm not sure yet but anyway we'll see how it goes just as it is now 
And I probably won't be cooking anything with too much fat in it. I'm thinking mainly like hot dogs and stuff. Chicken maybe. But anyway, so that, that's the BioLite grill. So there it is, just a quick overview of the stove. Wanted to get it open and show you what it's like in case you're like me and curious and thinking about getting one for yourself. Here it is again, all set up. Looks kind of like a spaceship or something to me. It's funny looking legs. But tell you what, it seems to be a pretty good design and I'm excited to, to try this out. And again, like I said, I'll put, I'll put up the, another video of me cooking something and we'll see what happens and how dirty it gets and how hard it is to clean. But that's it for now. Thanks, thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you later.